Good morning, Tony. Welcome. Thank you. Horizons 2030. Why do we need this report? Well, I guess that's a good question. Rhonda wrote it. Yeah, I picked that up. I guess there's an attempt by governments to set out their long-term infrastructure agenda. Unfortunately, the problem is sticking to what so they've said in a... What are you doing? I'm answering the question. Oh, look, if you're not going to take this seriously... I am taking it seriously. Then stick to the talking points. I was. You weren't. I was. You weren't. I was. This is great TV. He's gone rogue again. Slumping. Yeah, thanks, Brian. To, what, up. Just out. Ask me a question. OK, let's now go to Rhonda from Canberra. Rhonda, why do we need this report? Well, Katie, that's a good question. For too long, infrastructure has been a political football kicked around by those with short-term vested interests. But now we have a line in the sand, Horizons 2030. Finally, a blueprint, an action plan. Wow. When does the interviewer say wow? Can I ask Rhonda a question? OK, let's hear from Tony from the NBA. Rhonda, can you tell me anywhere in this nebulous wish list that is actually binding on the government? <laughs> you see, this is the point that people like Tony miss because they're narrow-minded, short-term well, thinkers. I'm short-term. Let Rhonda no, short finish. OK. Past governments have been haphazard. Some might even say piecemeal with infrastructure planning. But all that business as usual has to stop. Horizons 2030 is a war cry. It's transformative. It's it's a blueprint for the future. Oh. Oh, what is this, Q&A? Can't you go to a break? Can I just raise something I'm about... sorry, Wonder Tony, Wonder... I'm afraid we're out of time. Why did we run out of time? And we're out. You're wincing. I think Rhonda won that one. <laughs>